guys, we're just having some fun with the saw cars this morning. I have a package that come in. I, I've yet to unbox it. It's from a buddy of mine who uh, ordered a uh, slimline chassis and um, he sent it to me here first. And uh, the nice thing about it, it's virgin. And from what he understood, it has never been oiled, never been on the transfer, no track time. And he, he says, hey, listen, uh, just go ahead and get it running and then send it to him. So I, I feel privileged to uh, be able to help him out. So we'll be unboxing that here in just a bit. Uh, slimline chassis, I've heard a, a lot of stuff about them. Some guys really don't like them. I didn't at first, and then I figured out how to get them to run better. So we'll go over that. And also, everything here, oh, uh, I, I take that back. The, the Dale Earn Hart card didn't sell, but everything here went well on eBay, and I wanted to thank you guys. Anybody uh, that has seen my stuff, and that bid on this. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I did uh, very well on eBay, and I should be packing everything up today, getting it in the mail, and that should be going off. Um, what I have planned today, just for fun, is I got this um, Super Modified from Dash. I love it, it's clear, I love it. They do such a good job at uh, reproducing the, uh, the wing, the front and back bumper spikes, everything, everything, the cage, you know, the roll bar there. Um, and I've had this for years, I've had it for years, and I always thought about painting it from the inside, you know? And I just kept thinking about it and go, well, it's not, yes, it is transparent, but it's, it's not perfectly clear transparent, you know what I mean? And so then I thought about, well, why don't we do this? We have the gold pipe, and boy, they, they, they did such a good job with that gold. That gold plating is absolutely wonderful. I thought, why don't I go ahead and spray it with the uh, Molotov? You know, why not do that? And I started thinking that might be good because we'll have a uh, chrome silver with the gold accents. The only thing I'm missing is obviously the driver. I, I, I'm scrounging for those up. And uh, the chassis, the chassis, the chassis. But here's why I don't think I'm gonna be doing it today. Earlier, I had the, uh, the chrome paint out in both the replenish one, the, the big one, and then the long one, the, the, it's, not, it's not as chromey as I'd like. And I'm thinking, what would cause that to happen? Well, in Florida, we have, um, it, it's, everything's in the garage, but it's like super heated in here during the day, I'll come here often it's over 100 degrees in the garage. So I think storing the Molotov paint in a very, very hot uh, Florida garage is not the thing to do, guys. Okay, so anyways, we'll get to the, uh, let me get my X-Acto knife, we'll get to the unboxing and uh, get started on that slimline chassis. Well, I tell you what, as much tape as there is on the box, uh, I, I didn't think that they ever wanted me to get, uh, to get it open. Well, it looks like they packed it pretty good amount of bubble wrap which is good I always like that and often I don't get rid of the bubble wrap when people give it to you like that my you know my gosh boy I, I can reuse that okay good and it looks like a package down here okay good All right, get rid of the box okay I'm gonna need two hands to cut into this just a sec all right good um, he uh, got I like the way he packed it he does very very similar similar to what I do I make sure to take both ends. He's got some across here. So that, that to me, a uh, real good way to go. Real good way to pack. I like that. I like that a lot. I mean, it's not going to unravel itself. You know, I mean, in, in the package, no way. No way. And look at that. Not only bubble wrap, but he's got into it. And I do that as well. Boy, I put everything in a Ziploc. Okay, now we haven't touched it, haven't opened it. And it does look like it has never been used. <coughs> Pardon me, used. Look at the shoes, you know what I mean? Look at the shoes, shoes look great. Uh, the plate on the bottom, absolutely wonderful. Um, looking at it here through the package, everything looks like it says it should be. I'm gonna go ahead and get it out of the uh, uh, Ziploc now. Just a sec. All right, out of the Ziploc, boy, it looks nice and there's no sign of oil or anything on that whatsoever, very good. Okay, so we're gonna uh, take it apart, get it all oiled up, and make sure that uh, we put it back together just right. But here's one thing that, uh, as far as the slim lines have, that'll slow them down, and I discovered this years ago, is the crown gear right here. 
where it touches this uh, back part of the chassis, or the side part of the chassis rather, if that crown gear is slightly too big, and it feels like it might be, there's no real play there, I'll make sure that, well, it could be because the axle isn't lined up perfectly, but um, we'll get the axle lined up. But that crown gear, I have found sometimes, sometimes, I've got to take it off the axle, sand it down to where there's proper play in here, and then they run good. They run good. They run real good. So often, if we uh, got them as kids and we didn't know that simple little crown gear uh, a step there, we think, boy, they run doggedy. They run real doggedy. Now, he here's something I've done on a, a number of them, uh, some lines, is um, I'll put the neodymium uh, magnets right here and right here on both sides. And I tell you what, as small as they are now, those uh, the rare earth, the neodymium magnets, they will help the performance of the slim lines, guys. They will help the performance. I'm going to um, uh, probably have to find some and uh, send it along with this when I do uh, send it. Okay, so uh, what am I missing here? Mm, I don't think anything. Let's just go ahead and dive into it. You know what? Dive into it. You gotta get that clamp off first. There we go. I need two hands for that. All right, I had to use two hands to get that clamp out of there. Um, let's see. Boy, you can tell it's just never been apart or anything. That's the kind of tight magnets are. Okay, and got the brushes out. Man, it's nice to look at them when they've never been used. That is just absolutely pristine. Absolutely pristine. That's so very nice. Okay, I think the white magnet, yeah, that's in back or the gray, white. Let me get this one off. Oops. Yeah. And look at that, boy, that's never been a weld. You know what, there's not a drop of nothing on there. I am gonna run the uh, Dremel on the bottom of that uh, com plate there. That looks like it may have some just natural oxidation on it. We'll get that cleaned up too. I was thinking about doing the same thing to the shoes. They're not bad, but still, if we get them polished, nice and shiny and everything, this thing's just gonna be in you know high performance mode. Very, very good. Boy, look at the chrome. I tell you what, the chrome on the wheels, that looks good. That looks good. And the rubber, nice and fresh too. This bugger's never been used. All right, let's go ahead and get the shoes off. Good. Make sure we know where that spring's at. And same thing with the other shoe. Good. And we make sure we know where that spring is at. Okay. All right, let me get my uh, wire Dremel. We'll start cleaning some of the stuff up. All right, good, I got the Dremel out. I'm just gonna go ahead and take care of the bottom plate real quick. I like to get in that groove right there on both of them. You know, just as best you can. A lot of this is just for looks, yeah, fine. But that groove where it makes contact, if you can get in there, that's, that's what you want. And also, I'm just gonna very, very lightly touch the um, brush springs. There you go. There you go. That gets down there and just touches that, that bottom part of the uh, brush will be touching that, so that's why I do that. Okay, now uh, let's go ahead and get that bottom plate clean. Well, it doesn't, doesn't look good right now. Stay there. Better. Already better. Good. And you notice how it doesn't spin well? It's never been oil. You know what? It's never been oil. I bet you we put a drop of oil and it's been a whole lot better. All right. Uh, just cleaning up the uh, gears here just for literally cosmetic purposes. That's all. That's all. All right. Good. Good, good, good. And the brushes, I'm going to just for fun scrape them along here. There shouldn't be any real massive corrosion or anything on there just a little bit and again i'm doing both sides of them do it both sides flip it there you go and again not much not much all right good let me go ahead and do some reassembly real quick i just started the reassembling and i did the uh, engine again i like to oil 
when I go and reassemble guys, I really do. It only takes a second to do it, and plus you can get it everything really, really easy. Now, before I oil the back, I wanna take a look, and it's got a little bit of play in there right now, but the axle is more to the uh, driver's side than it is. So let me just go ahead and see if I can press that down a little bit and even it out. Okay, that seems like it's maybe a little bit more in the other way, just a fraction. Okay, good, good. Now that's spinning free and there's a, there's a, a little bit of play in there, that's what we want. So what I'm gonna do, I'll oil the back axle, but when we put the uh, top plate on, we'll see if it spins uh, real good like it should. All right, I just put the uh, top plate in and what's interesting is I don't have the magnets in or anything and it does not turn as easy as it should, it does not and there's no more play in the uh, axillary. I mean, it, so that, again, that's telling me the crown gear, I'm, I, I'm gonna need to sand the back of it off. So I need to take that off, sand the back of it, you know, so it's a little bit more skinny, so there's some play in here. Because I tell you what, guys, the way this is turning, that's stiff, that's stiff. You know, it, there, it, it needs to be done that way. So let me go ahead and do this. Let me go ahead and get that crown gear off the axle just took the top plate off a second ago and I spun it and it, it, it moves freely now. So it tells me again, the articulation between the crown gear and the drive gear there, uh, we need to skinny up the back of that crown gear. Okay, there's a the crown gear right there and this is the part I'm gonna have to grind, grind down a little bit. Just that little bit of the rim right there, just so there's some play again between that and the uh, side of the uh, uh, body of the chassis there. So let me get the, uh, my Dremel out real quick. Here's the Dremel bit I'm going to use. It's just a bit of a barrel grinder. I'm going to do it in front of me, so just a sec. Okay, ground it down a bit. It's going to be trial and error. If that is not enough, I'll take it back off the axle and do it again. Um, I think it might be enough, but again, let's just see how it articulates. Okay, good. I'll so we'll put the top plate back on and... Oh boy, look at that. It, it spins. It spins like it should. Uh, and, and... There's just an ever so slightly little bit of um, uh, play there. That's exactly what you want. So this spins like it should. Let me go and do this. I'm gonna put the rest of it back together. We're gonna get this on the track. Uh, just trying to do some reassembly here and the only thing I neglected to do was to polish up the shoes. So let me go ahead and do that real quick. All right, good, just clicked on the transformer. Let's see what we get. Let's see if we get a spark. Yeah, there we go. Okay, good, good, good. good. Wow, you hear it? Picking up speed first time running, guys. Yeah, getting it grooved in. Yeah, I got some breaking in to do, then that thing will be running great. All right, good, fantastic. All right, good, we know we got the chassis running real good. Let's see what it looks like with the body on. I'm gonna swap it out from one of my uh, pickups here. Uh, let me just go ahead and get the body. Oh, and this pickup has got the uh, new Dimians on it, or, and uh, on the chassis. And I'm, I'm, I'm just for fun, I'm probably gonna swap them and put them over here. All right, let me go ahead and get that body off. I'm gonna tell you what, I just got the, uh, uh, the neodymium magnets off. They are tiny, but boy, they're powerful. They are absolutely powerful. Once again, I'm gonna put one here, one here, one here, and one here, and uh, that should increase the, uh, I don't know, what do you wanna call it, flux? I don't know, <laughs> magnetic power, but it should definitely uh, help increase the mag uh, magnet. All right, let me go ahead and do that, then we'll get the body on. There you go, can you see them on there? Got the one on the front, the one on the back there, same thing with the other side. Okay, good, body next. Just tighten the screws, I'm grab the uh, transformers, got it, the uh, body swapped out. All right, maiden voyage, guys, here we go. Yeah, no one can tell me that's doggity, huh? <laughs> no way, look at that. I tell you what, again, guys, check the crown gear, if you think that the uh, Sunline can't run as good or as fast as a standard T-Jet, you're wrong. Yes, I know I have the uh, rare earth, the neodymium magnets. Yeah, I know I have that on there. But the, uh, wow, the um, speed of it and everything, the way it rolls, the way it coasts, absolutely wonderful. 
All right, guys, I think that's going to call it quits uh, for right now. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'm glad we got into this chassis. And again, check the crown gear, guys. And please, if you got any questions, let me know. See ya.